Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today I got an unboxing and first look at the Insta 360X Re. And this is a 360 degree camera, and it allows you to, well, you can pick out the frame that you want when you shoot, and we'll move, talk more about that later. But uh, this is the battery, and uh, with this kit, I got two batteries, and I would say I get about 90 minutes of shooting at 5.7K. Now this is where the SD card goes in also in this slot. It is a micro SD card. And one thing I wanted to point out here, I was noticing when I'm putting the SD card in, is you really got to push pretty hard on that door to lock it in place. Because you notice, I haven't quite locked it in place there. And now it's locked into place. And the reason why is because this camera is water resistant, but you can see there is a gasket on this battery and you want to make sure that that sits flush. So if you do pick up this camera, be aware that you do press down on that pretty good so you could do that. Now, like I said, when you're shooting 360 degree video, uh, the highest mode it'll do is 5.7K at 30 frames. You can do uh, 24P also. And this is the settings. And one of the things that I wanna uh, tell you about is what I found is by default, the sharpness is set all the way to high to the highest setting. And um, you really want to change that uh, because it really kind of over sharpens the picture too much. It's much better to do that in post. So I suggest that you set that to low. And then if you want to sharpen it up, uh, you can do that in your uh, in post. And that's really the only thing I would change there. Uh, other than that, uh, the camera is pretty simple. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into uh, what the camera can do. I'm just going to show you basically how to get it up and running. And it is pretty simple to use. Now, the camera is pretty small and lightweight, but really to make it really happen, if you press this button here when it's off, this is a quick record button. And when you do that, once you get a quick recording, then you can go ahead and shoot. Otherwise, you got to turn it on and then go ahead and hit record. So this is what I did when I took it out and and a few times testing it out. Um, this is probably my favorite mode with the camera. 235 widescreen mode. And like I said, as I'm turning it here is I'm picking out the frame that I want. And I'll talk more about uh, how you can do that because you can do that with your phone, uh, but I don't suggest it. And then, and then as soon as you're finished recording, you just hit that button again and then it shuts off. And that's primarily uh, how I've been using it once I have all the settings straight. And the only thing that I really changed, like I said, was setting that sharpness to low and making sure the bit rate was on the highest. Now, I do suggest that you get this selfie stick. It is pretty amazing. Uh, the video at the beginning uh, of this uh, with me on the motorcycle was shot with the selfie stick and that works out really well. So uh, you can get those high angle shots and then it telescopes out. So I'll go ahead and put it on the camera here and then I'll show you what it does. And then you can go ahead and telescope it out uh, to whatever length you want uh, to get your shots. Now also, when you hook this up to uh, your phone, you can kind of preview the shots, but you can't preview them uh, in 5.7K. Now you can see here, I had the thing telescoped all the way up here uh, uh, with the car, and it gives you a really cool angles you can see it almost looks like we're, we're hitting the ceiling of this uh, parking structure. So you can get some pretty cool angles. And of course there, all the turning of the lenses, 360, while well, I'm doing that all in post. So uh, Insta360 does have an app for your computer, and that's what I recommend using, because when you use the app, uh, you can pick the 4K settings uh, when you go ahead and shoot. Now, the settings that you have on the camera is you have the star lapse, you have the burst, you have the interval, you have the HDR photo, you have the regular photo mode, you have the regular video mode, you have the active HDR mode, which I don't recommend using, I'll tell, talk more about that, the time shift, the bullet time, the loop recording. And here, here's another shot. Now you can see I've kind of got a kind of wide angle, kind of fisheye, but watch this. In post, I can just go ahead and crop in. Now I did this with the Insta360 app, so I can go ahead and crop in. And when I do that and I pick the right angle, 
then I get that where it's not looking so fish eye and so wide angle. Uh, I can kind of get the framing that I want. And that's what's really cool about this. Uh, it does take some time because like I said, you're going through all these different modes. Now I will say it is exporting 4K, but I think it's, it's really kind of upscaling it from probably 3K. I don't think it's quite 2K, but I think it probably is something around uh, 3K and then it's upscaling it. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the Insta360 Studio app. And you can see here we're in 16 by nine mode. And basically I've already created this clip and basically what you do is you stop and start it and then you drag the mouse pointer here and then what you do is you hit that little plus sign and then it's gonna make your video uh, turn the direction of whatever you pick. And then you can create more points. So on this particular video, um, I have, you know, it's moving all around, but you can see it's pretty cool. You know, you can basically generate whatever perspective you want. And um, it works very well. It's very clear. Uh, one of my favorite ones is this 235 widescreen and it allows you to do that. And it's not just creating a mask, it actually is uh, pushing the video away so it is the correct aspect ratio. Another thing you can do is you can do the 9 by 16 uh, for smartphones uh, in the portrait mode, which is kind of cool too uh, for different social media settings. So that's great. And what I really like about this is when you use the studio app, you can pick the 4K settings and you can export in ProRes and other H.264 and H.265 uh, settings. So you cannot do that with the app for the iPhone uh, or the Android phone. And another thing too is I do suggest that you get, the, mine came with that nice little cover there uh, because these lenses, they scratch pretty easily and you're gonna see it because it's such a wide angle. Um, also mine did come with an SD card. You wanna make sure that you use at least uh, this type here. You can see at least of like a V30 uh, for the 4K, you know, at least that spec so you can get this working correctly. So guys, there's my uh, kind of basic overview of the uh, Insta360 X3 camera. Be sure to check back to my channel for more videos on this and other cameras. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.